And like the 80s was was also. I like, kind of wish I lived in those times. But like when Jimmy Carter was president, like uh, before Reagan. People say he was a good president. He only had one term, by the way. Oh, for real? Yeah, he didn't get reelected. Oh, damn. Then he, he wasn't a good president? Well, it's complicated, you know, because like sometimes the president does something and like at first it seems like a bad thing. And then later on, people change their minds. They're like, that was a good thing that you did that. I mean, that could happen in life, though. So, like, one of the things that he did was, you know, he let the Cubans in here when Fidel Castro got a bunch of people out of prison. El Mariel? El Mariel Boatlift. Damn, that was him? That was him. Oh, shit. He said, uh, we're letting them in. Hey, Uh, There was nowhere else for them to go. Carter got me. And that's why there's, well, that's a big part of why there's so many Cubans in exile because, like, you know, when Castro started, a bunch of them were like, that's fuck, literally fuck Scarface this. the movie. That's Scar, yeah, that's yeah. Scarface the movie, right? Yeah. yeah. So that's how that, I mean, that was a situation with Carter. But the yeah. Reagan thing, part of the issue was like, as soon as the drug started popping up, a lot of people, like, because you know that there was a different law. So that's part of the things that people talk about, like, oh, there was a different. Didn't he, didn't he invent the RICO? The RICO charge? Yeah, like the actual thing. That was invented during that era, I think. But that was that was with this. Uh, uh, what's the name of Donald Trump's lawyer? Rudy Giuliani. And Giuliani. He, Rudy Giuliani was the one that really wanted to get RICO charges uh, uh, and, and turn them into a thing. And because of New York. Because of the mafia, yeah. Uh, okay, I got you, got you. Yeah. The mafia. So that was because it was a huge. Because it was it was impossible to catch them. They ran New York. Yeah, it was impossible. They ran to catch New York, them, and that was a weird thing. And running New York is, is hard. Is the mafia still a thing, bro? It is, but it's not the same. Nah. It's not the same. Can't be. Wait, they, too much know. social media and just too much. <laughs> <laughs> they're thugging on the internet now. The social media. I feel like that's the problem. Like, kids are just going to be so accustomed to it that, like, that's not a part of, like, mafia life. They used to be, uh, they used to be like, real troopers, though. Like, to the point where, like, if you ever got caught. Chopping you, your fucking you, head off. You took that to the death. If you didn't, it was death. Exactly. No, yeah. Once right. you get into that life, you're you're stuck. Like it's, that was Cosa Nostra. Yeah. And but like eventually, you know, once the first guy snitches, the second guy snitches. Yeah. It's and then right. the third, it's like a domino effect. And so if you got that many snitches, it's hard to maintain an organization that's illegal. New York has a lot of snitches, man. Yeah, snitch. Well, snitches snitches uh, multiply. Once it starts, that's part of the issue, man. What do you What do you feel about snitching? Snitch, Honestly, snitching in what sense? You mean snitching like I got myself into some shit and now I'm gonna like let tell everything I know and betray my loyalty? Because that's the for me that's the main issue. With I mean, snitching. There, there could be a couple perspectives. I feel like snitching. That, that's the thing though. Like maybe snitching can't be a thing. I mean, it still could be a thing if you get caught by yourself. But you could snitch on like uh like that in uh, American Gangster. Um, What's that dude's name? I forgot his name. He gets caught. He snitches on all the bad cops that are doing, like, crooked shit. Mm. So that's still snitching, but it's snitching on bad it's cops. Seen, it's seen, yeah, it's seen differently. I mean, I just think, personally, I, I, I wouldn't even get myself in a, in a position to even, like, have to snitch on There's somebody. There's situations where I think it's it's wrong for the most part. Nah, it's, it's right? morally is wrong. I think because it, it, the, the reason why I think it's wrong is because I think it's a betrayal of like your priorities, your loyalty to other people for the most part. For there's, sure. There's bro. another issue though with with the uh, with snitching. Like for example, it's like well, there's some people you shouldn't have loyalty to. Period. That's the thing. Right? You shouldn't even be in that situation. But you're a dickhead and you did get into yeah. it. Yeah. It's like that's this that's it's hard to there, like. There's some people that uh, like for example, let's say 9/11. Okay. Let's say you know you were. The one guy that was asleep at the camera, and this time you go back in time, you're awake. You're like, those are the guys, and you know, oh, you'll be like, sure. bro, I'm, I'm, I'm not snitching, man. I'm not no bitch, bro. No, Come on, bro. You see, you know? that's that's different, man. That's <laughs> that's different. It's like how that's not even snitching it? because you're not even in a snitching refers to when you got when you got yourself in trouble and you got yourself arrested and let's say you did though telling on somebody will. Will take your charges away. That's snitching. Okay, let's change the situation then. Okay. Because you're right. It's usually like, oh, there's some pressure, and now you, you now you like betrayed your prior, like what you said you were gonna. This isn't who you are. Right. This is well. This actually, this is who you are. You lied about who you were. You were yeah, fake. You're, you you're, said you're you weren't gonna. Snitch. Yeah, you said this isn't who you were. You're not a bitch. If you get caught, it's your fault. You deal with the consequences. 
You the main the main thing that goes in my head is six nine. He's he's the number one snitch right now. Apparently. Man, I think he's trying to make it like a what do you call it like socially acceptable. No, nah, it's already acceptable. But like it's people, not, he, he hasn't even been canceled really. I come from a long line of people that like absolutely under all situations refuse to snitch no matter that's fucking what I'm saying what. that's what I'm saying but this is for me it was because it was a family thing and so no, like the always, last bro. person that, like, that you would ever feel like snitching on was a fact but see no it's not even just that it was also organizations see but he he's in a whole different situation friends, though. like people that not you know. even he was he wouldn't even consider those guys friends I mean people already know the story the thing is in Cuba there's more snitches than people man and that's a that makes no sense but it's true in somehow. Cuba yeah, no, yeah, because they're sucking the fucking regime's dick. The government is designed to be that way. I mean, it's designed to be that way because they have these little meetings and shit. And if you don't go, you're 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 part, not one of them. You're an asshole. You're this. You're that. You're not a revolutionary. You're you know all this shit. And what they do is they get one guy that goes to the meetings. They're like, My I want you. Told me he, there's 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 rats in every block, everywhere. Just looking everywhere. to see if some fuck shit's going on, and if it does, they're they're definitely bringing and it back. They keep each other on track. Yeah, yeah for sure. Because because once you start showing up to the meetings, they'll be like, Yo, I need you to make that girl fall in love with you, bro. Why? Because her husband. I, we gotta have some leverage on her husband. And they do the same thing shit to like you, that. And they do the same thing to your wife. Yeah. Oh, uh, they're the niggas are. That's petty, exactly bro. how it is. And my pops, uh, when he was in the um, in the re- in the resistance, like when he was in the he was a uh, one of the counter revolutionaries. He was an engineer. Uh-huh. A lot of anti revolutionaries are engineers, uh, by the way. For, right. Yeah. And so, um, what ended up happening was like uh, these guys are. Why is that though? Why is that? Yeah. You know, that's a weird thing. Oswaldo Paya who was murdered by the regime in a car accident, right? Quotation marks. Yeah. Uh, he was an engineer. Uh, uh-huh. That's about as much. I don't want to, I don't want to like reveal who my. All right. Okay. Says, you don't have to. You but have like, to, um, but yeah, that was, um, that was it. That That's how it works. I mean, they really do want to get leverage on you. And my pops, his whole thing was like, look, we can't say anything here that we're not willing to say in public because you know, there's a snitch in every single one of these meetings. I don't know who they are, but I know that they're here and we have to be transparent. If we're gonna go here and do this and set up a meeting, make sure everyone knows because I don't want there to be any secrets because if there's secrets, then we're not connected because then we're worried about, oh, what if this guy tells? What if this guy does this? Now we gotta be open. You gotta be willing to do this and prove it up front in front of everybody. I feel you. Uh, That's some shit. And that was the only way to do it. The whole thing with uh with 69 though 69